The Rostra of Imperial Rome has a very long history. Initially, it's part of a curved wall that belongs to the Comitium in front of the Senate House. But with the refurbishment of the Forum area in the reign of Julius Caesar, he transfers that curved wall portion over to its current location and forever the Rostra's designation in the city is changed. Now the curved wall to the right is attributed to the Rostra of Julius Caesar, but it's further extended and enlarged under Augustus. And that's what's largely been rebuilt to the left. And at the bottom you can see an addition. This is attributed to being the Vandal period, extension of the rostra. What's missing is the large extensive wooden floor to accommodate orators, to accommodate senators, and of course emperors that would address the crowd in the Forum Piazza. This is the rostra. Now it's the imperial rostra, it's not the original republican rostra that was part of the comitium. And what we have in the distance here is a 12 foot high wall, largely reconstructed. Now in the front of the rostra, it would have been lined with bronze ship prows, the beaks that were used to ram one ship into another. And the original rostra, dated to the time of 338 BC, a very important early naval battle, victory for the Romans against the town of Antium, today's Anzio. And the rostra as such is located here only under Julius Caesar. And with the passing of time, it's enlarged. But this is the very rostra then that we're talking about where oratories were proclaimed, including the eulogy delivered to honor Julius Caesar after his assassination. These curved steps led up to the central area made of wood where the emperors and the retinues would have been on public display for everyone in the central forum piazza.